one is that I used to believe that the world is changing so much on Until the very moment I realized I was wrong. There is still excess in this changing world of the 21st century when people aren't being given their basic rights. They are deprived to enjoy freedom of movement and freedom of speech. Significantly, they are at peace. And I bet the world can never be at peace when these small masses may be at peace. If we try to gather examples around the world, we'd have lots of classes where people are not at peace. Kashmir is a major one. Now, everyone, please follow me. Imagine a scenario. For the next 24 hours, you are not allowed to get out of this hall. You are not allowed to receive or dive any of the walls. You, you are not even allowed to eat food. And you are not even being given your basic facilities. What would be your thoughts? What would be your feelings? If I thought about myself, I'd feel my survival at stake. That's what Kashmiris are feeling every moment. Isolated and even more than that. Article 35A allows the Kashmiri legislature to define its permanent residence. It's been abolished. And similarly, likewise, Article 370 has also been abolished. By broadly taking what legally and rightfully belongs to the Kashmiris, they've made the dispute worse. It's getting messier and messier day by day as the lockdown remains of Kashmir. New York Times said, Kashmir. A rage to death with no way to call it up. Yes, it is true. It has now become a place where a child comes to her mother, tells her, written by a snake, that he is going to die, which cannot call an ambulance. 80,000 troops have been sent to this disputed area with ladies' weapons and modern techniques. According to New York Times, 20,000 of the Kashmiris, including politicians, elected representatives, and uh, teachers and even students. They all were rounded up exactly the day before and after shipping away the Kashmiris for Parliament. The worst of the government and their children. In a world where we talk about the consensus, the consensus of the government, that's obviously their right. Kashmir. There still exists a village where the entire female population is raped. More than 5,000 of the rape cases have been registered. The kids die before they even dream. According to a uh, state human rights commission in 2011, thousands of Kashmiris have been reported to Bharat and the unlocked rapes voluntarily. Thousands have been killed in the custody and execution traditions and enforced as a bed. The UN Council recently held a meeting on Kashmir but has failed bring peace to the day. Now if we talk about the solution of the Kashmir, there are two best po uh, possible ways. Once giving the Kashmiris right to decide what they want. Other one, making it an autonomous state. Both uh, monitored more by the belongings. The worst is that a uh, New York Times on 19 January 2019 reported that an 18 month old victim of a very old woman, Heba Nasa. She is the youngest Tanpalak victim and may lose the eyesight. Then, this is not only about Kashmiris facing this whole panorama and class. There are still many other examples. Take Sikha as an example. Shattered the civil war and backed by dictatorship where the human rights and international undertaking law is being openly violated. According to SOHR, a monetary commission based in the United Kingdom, since the start of the World War, there are, uh, there are about as 5,000 of people displaced as a country. Similarly, Palestine. Where people of Palestine are being subjected to militarized repression and suppression to freedom of movement. So very sadly, the government throughout the world are allowed to continue this oppression with its limits. Now, if I talk, if I ask you, what should be our standing in this world when our men 
like as an like as an individual, and responsible for the peacemaking in my surrounding and my environment. Similarly, we as a society, as a nation, and most importantly, as humans, are responsible for keeping peace in the world. They all owe us responsibility by means of humanity that we should stand for them, we should speak for them, and then we should act for them. We also need to make we also need to make ends meet. We also need to make ends meet to bring peace to all these disputed states. Also, we also have to resist and implement all the articles or all the laws that doesn't make them different from any of the nations in the world. The defense must be accountable for their actions as well as the status of the missing, uh, missing persons must have to be shared with the families. Because personally, I don't want my future generations partnering towards these same issues and, and listening to the cries of these innocent people. We have to think about how to do it and I stand in eyes cry still, tears of the blood that shed daily on those roads of the disputed areas, the blood of those who are who, who mothers see them see their daughters being raped and and laying in laying you know, on the roads helplessly. The children who the, the, those children who die before the start of the We have to make sure never to make the mass suffer because of some dark habits, but always to make sure to shed all those habits. Lastly, it's an approach. Lastly, it's an approach that we must have to stand for them and set an example. And set an example that we all are with the humanity. We all are with the humanity. We need to set the example that whoever stands against humanity, who will all stand against them. Thank you.